Anyways since the story about David went so well I decided to give some more stories about places I've worked. This one is about my time in security, current job but not current place. Be me 22. Working security for the local Walmart. Since I was the new guy they gave me the graveyard shift. Boss gave me camera duty since the only people going to the store during those hours are new parents or druggies. Notice the time was almost 3 a.m. when a very tall and skinny man comes in. Almost looks like a basketball player. See he's looking for someone to help him, probably just one of those new parents looking for formula. No one helps him for what seems like 30 minutes. Decide to just go help him myself since no one was going to. Not like I had anything else going on. Go down to the aisle he was in and I can't find him. Go to the greeter, this slightly older woman named Angie. Angie, did you see this tall dude come in? Angie looks at me with a weird look. No one's come in since I started my shift over an hour ago, she says. Tell her I saw the dude on the cameras looking for someone to help him. Again she stares at me weirdly. The only door open is the one I'm at dear, perhaps you've just been up a bit too long? Yeah, you're probably right, I told her and decided to just go back to my station. Go back to the cameras and notice the man isn't there anymore. As in he ducking vanished. Not a trace he ever existed. Think rationally for a second that he maybe either found what he needed or left entirely. I just didn't seem him because it was a long walk from his aisle to my station so whatever. Think nothing of it and decide to go back to my usual of watching videos and drinking the cruddy coffee someone always made for the overnight shift. At about 3.30 I notice a familiar sight. The tall man came back. Wait what the duck? This time he's in a completely different part of the store. A section he could not get to without me at least noticing him walk by. Not even Angie seemed to notice. Not even Ronald the cashier noticed. No one seemed to notice this man walk into this store. Man again seems to be looking for something. This time he grabs something off the shelf. And begins to inspect it. Just a box of cereal nothing more nothing less. Man seemingly gets frustrated and begins to hit himself with the box. What the duck is he doing? No this is where I'm supposed to jump in so I run to his aisle to stop him. Man sees me. I ask, hey, you okay bud? Do you need some help? Yes, he said, I need food for my child, this food is not suitable for my baby. Okay, I can help you with the baby food section okay? Just don't hit yourself anymore alright? The man nods to me and we begin to walk towards the baby aisle. My walkie-talkie goes off and it's Ronald calling me. Hey Anon, can you help me with this stacking? I think I threw my back out. Ronald can it wait? I'm with a special customer, I whispered to him. Ronald being even more new than I didn't seem to understand what that meant. Come on man, my back feels like it broke. Roll my eyes and look back at the man. Knowing I was making a huge mistake I told the man if I could have him wait for me for just a moment to help a colleague. The man then sits down on the floor and says, I can wait. Weird but, whatever, I go help Ronald and like ducking clockwork the man is gone. Backslash a uh, god damn it, I knew I shouldn't have left this guy alone. Backslash look around the store. Backslash uh, can't find him. Backslash uh, go check the baby section and nothing. Backslash uh, maybe it means he just left. Backslash uh, I let out a sigh of exasperation. Backslash uh, decide to just go back again to my boring station. Backslash uh, if he was dangerous he would have hurt someone by now. Get back to my station, almost 4 am now and my shift ends at 6. Night was not very eventful all in all I thought. Just as I say that the man once again pops up on my screen. Okay what the duck. I decide this time not to even wait for him to do something and just go to him. He was in the electronics section now. And as I got up to begin my long walk over to his section. I saw it. He wasn't looking at anything in the section at all. He was looking at the camera. Noah he was looking at me. 
I know it sounds stupid but the way he stared at the camera. I just knew he wasn't just staring at the ether, he was looking straight at me. Okay this is officially stopped being an uneventful night. I go to the electronics and meet the man again. Hey, did you find what you need? Yes, my baby is well fed now, okay good, um, do you need anything else? Blue man, he called me as such because, well, I was wearing blue. Do you watch me? Huh? Taken back by his question. Do you watch me from there? From the orb in the sky, you mean the security cameras? Yes, well, as part of my job I actually do have to keep an eye on the whole store to make sure you and the other customers are safe. Why do you watch me, blue man? Well I don't just watch you specifically. Are you with them, blue man? With who? The men who see through black lenses. Who? The men who see through black lenses, they see me, they watch me, they follow me. You mean like, people wearing sunglasses? Yes, black lenses. They are always following me, always watching me, for my child. At this point I was going to call for a loony bin transport but then the man continued. Get back to my station, almost 4 am now and my shift ends at 6. Night was not very eventful all in all I thought. Just as I say that the man once again pops up on my screen. Okay what the duck. I decide this time not to even wait for him to do something and just go to him. He was in the electronics section now. And as I got up to begin my long walk over to his section. I saw it. He wasn't looking at anything in the section at all. He was looking at the camera. Noah he was looking at me, I know it sounds stupid but the way he stared at the camera. I just knew he wasn't just staring at the ether, he was looking straight at me. Okay this is officially stopped being an uneventful night. I go to the electronics and meet the man again. Hey, did you find what you need? Yes, my baby is well fed now, okay good, um, do you need anything else? Blue man, he called me as such because, well, I was wearing blue. Do you watch me? Huh? Taken back by his question. Do you watch me from there? From the orb in the sky, you mean the security cameras? Yes, well, as part of my job I actually do have to keep an eye on the whole store to make sure you and the other customers are safe. Why do you watch me, blue man? Well I don't just watch you specifically. Are you with them, blue man? With who? The men who see through black lenses. Who? The men who see through black lenses, they see me, they watch me, they follow me. You mean like, people wearing sunglasses? Yes, black lenses. They are always following me, always watching me, for my child. At this point I was going to call for a loony bin transport but then the man continued. At this point I just decide to lead him towards the door and hopefully he lets me and the store be. The man begins to tell me one last secret. Blue man, remember the men who wear black lenses will one day come for you, you already know too much, too far into the depths, he says he needs to give me something but can't seem to find it. I tell him that it's okay and to just go before he attracts the men who wear black lenses. He says he will be back once he finds the item he needs to give me. He says the item will protect me from them and will show them I'm not a part of his race but a hopeless bystander. I nod politely and let him be on his way, I tell him if I see any black lenses I'll be sure to tell him. The man doesn't come back that night and I don't see him for what seems like an eternity. After that, even though I myself did not believe his story, can't lie when I said I did notice a lot of black sunglasses around during the time. Feel all around uneasy, but I just chalk it all up to that weird sensation your mind has when you slightly consider something to be true even though you know that there is no possible way it is. Fast forward about a month later. I'm no longer the new guy but I request to be put on the night shift since it's not only easier on my already messed up sleep schedule but it also is just way easier to deal with than having crazy rednecks or Mexican moms to deal with in the daytime. Just sitting around until about 3am rolls by. 
A familiar sight I haven't seen in a long time decided to stroll in. The tall skinny man comes back. Oh duck here we go again. Decide to go greet him since I think he would remember me and be able to talk him down again. I got to his aisle where I notice he seems even more frantic. Blue man. I have the item for your safety. I tell to keep it and make sure to give it to me some other time. He looks visibly distraught. Blue man please you must let me give you this. I tell him that I'll take the gift once I go help another customer. In reality I just went to go call some local sheriff to take him to a ward, since it was obvious this man was ducking crazy. The whole walk over there I could feel his gaze, his presence. Shake it off as nerves. What was I nervous about? Hell if I know. I just was. As I get to the camera room and grab my phone to dial up the sheriff I notice something that made my skin crawl. The man wasn't there. It made me feel so damn anxious. I don't know why since he's vanished before, but this time it felt so much more eerie. I shake it off and begin to dial the number until I heard a voice behind me. Blue man. I ducking froze, I just full on stopped consciously moving, hell it felt like my soul had just left my body out of fear. I turned to see this tall skinny man in the security room, with me, this tiny room with a man who I was sure was insane, I was sure he was going to kill me. Blue man I must give you this, here take it, it will protect you, I notice a small white card, nothing on it but the word sleep. Backslash show it to the men who wear black lenses, they will never bother you again once you see this, I must, go now, my child is restless and it is time for us to, go home, my mission to evaluate this planet is done. Backslash, he then bends over and I see it. Backslash, a ducking carrier. Backslash, there is no way he has something in there right? Backslash, then I hear small noises coming from the carrier. Backslash, my heart nearly burst out of my body. Backslash, holy shit is this guy real? Is that an actual baby? Where the duck did he get it? Is it his? Did he kidnap it? As I say that the man runs off and I never see him again, not even in the ducking cameras, he once again just vanishes. As soon as I can move I call the sheriff and tell him to get the duck down here quick. After I gave my report, nothing seemingly came of it, no one has ever seen that man before or after. Blue man please you must let me give you this. I tell him that I'll take the gift once I go help another customer. In reality I just went to go call some local sheriff to take him to a ward, since it was obvious this man was ducking crazy. The whole walk over there I could feel his gaze, his presence. Shake it off as nerves. What was I nervous about? Hell if I know. I just was. As I get to the camera room and grab my phone to dial up the sheriff I notice something that made my skin crawl. The man wasn't there. It made me feel so damn anxious. I don't know why since he's vanished before, but this time it felt so much more eerie. I shake it off and begin to dial the number until I heard a voice behind me. Blue man. I ducking froze, I just full on stopped consciously moving, hell it felt like my soul had just left my body out of fear. I turned to see this tall skinny man in the security room, with me, this tiny room with a man who I was sure was insane, I was sure he was going to kill me. Blue man I must give you this, here take it, it will protect you, I notice a small white card, nothing on it but the word sleep. Backslash show it to the men who wear black lenses, they will never bother you again once you see this, I must, go now, my child is restless and it is time for us to, go home, my mission to evaluate this planet is done. Backslash he then bends over and I see it. Backslash a ducking carrier. Backslash there is no way he has something in there right? Backslash then I hear small noises coming from the carrier. Backslash my heart nearly burst out of my body. Backslash holy shit is this guy real? Is that an actual baby? Where the duck did he get it? Is it his? Did he kidnap it? As I say that the man runs off and I never see him again not even in the ducking cameras, he once again just vanishes. 
As soon as I can move I call the sheriff and tell him to get the duck down here quick. After I gave my report, nothing seemingly came of it, no one has ever seen that man before or after.